Hi, I'm Ben Orford, and we're going to show you how to sharpen a typical bushcraft axe. This is a small forest axe with a convex grind, and we're going to show you how to use some simple techniques to get a really good edge on it. So there's various stones that you could use for sharpening your axe, whether it be a Grand Force puck, a diamond stone, or even wet and dry sandpaper stuck to a board. But what we'll show you is how to use a conventional double-sided water stone. So the advantage of using a conventional bench stone is that we can use it for sharpening other tools as well as our axe. But the main advantage is it's going to be a lot safer to use when we're sharpening the axe itself. The disadvantage with these little pucks that you can buy is your fingers are incredibly close to that cutting edge when you're sharpening and one slip and you can really do yourself some damage. So using the bench stone, rather than using it flat on a surface and moving the axe, we're going to show you how to hold the axe and actually move the stone. So before we start sharpening, it's a real advantage if we actually colour in the bevel itself with a marker pen. This is going to make it a lot easier for us to see where we're removing the steel and ensure that we don't tilt the stone too much. So we'll do both sides and then we can use the bench stone in our hand and what we want to try and do is always come from behind the cutting edge. This is much safer so if we slip we're not going to hurt ourselves but the other thing that we want to do is we want to try and lay the bench stone on there so that it's almost touching the cheek of the axe. This is our sort of built-in honing angle and it allows us to remove material from the back of the bevel to start with. So lay that stone so it's touching the back of the bevel and the cheek. Lift it ever so slightly so that it's just going to miss. And then we start with some small circular motions and almost straight away you can see how it's starting to remove that black pen. Even though this isn't actually going to sharpen the axe, it's essential that we remove some of this material from the back of the bevel to actually maintain the edge geometry that we're after. After I've done a few passes and removed that pen, I gradually lift that back hand until I take the next section of pen off. And I keep increasing that angle until I see that last little section of pen disappear. As soon as that last little bit of pen disappears, I don't increase the angle anymore. If I keep increasing the angle, it's going to make the axe more and more obtuse, and that's going to stop it cutting efficiently. So once you've done the one side and you've removed all that pen, turn it over, making sure that you're still coming from behind the cutting edge. At this stage, you can always rest the, the butt end of the handle against a stump or a bench, or just hold it like so. And then you can do exactly the same process on this other side of the bevel. So once you've done that, you can wipe some of the slurry off very carefully. And we want to have a look at the actual cutting edge itself. So we've done that first action with the medium side of the stone and we want to check to see that we've got rid of any damage, that there's no light spots bouncing back at us. If you can see any, it's probably worth recolouring it and doing the same process again. So once you're happy that you've got rid of any damage, you can then swap the stone over and use the fine side of the stone and do exactly the same process again. It's entirely up to you whether you recolour it before you start, or if you feel confident, you can just carry on and do the same process. So once you've polished both sides of the bevel with the fine stone, you might find that there's still a little bit of burr hanging on, which is difficult to get rid of. So the easiest way to get rid of the burr is to actually use a piece of leather, either stuck to a board or just flat, and then we apply a little bit of Tormek paste, the polishing paste, onto that leather, and then we can strop away from the cutting edge now. Very important that we always go away from the cutting edge, otherwise it's going to just cut the leather. It's not absolutely essential to get it spot on the bevel because the leather will give ever slightly and just polish away any burr. So using the leather, it's really left a really nice polished edge on there. We've got rid of any burr. And just check the edge to make sure we can't see any light bouncing back at us, and I can't. And then once you think you're there, you can always give it a bit of a paper test to see if we've got a really nice razor edge on there. It might seem extreme sharpening it to that level, 
but if you keep it nice and polished it was going to last longer so there you go nice sharp axe if you have any questions please feel free to contact us through our website